Everybody loves good potato chips. I mean, there's just something about that crunchy, salty goodness that just satisfies our snack cravings perfectly. Today's recipe is for roasted sweet potato chips. Yum. Now, potatoes, no matter what kind they are, are not a low-carb food at all. But if you're wanting to treat yourself in moderation and just really craving a good potato chip, then the best way to do it is to make them at home. You don't have to worry about a bunch of artificial ingredients. Don't have to worry about, oh, what's in it, what's not in it. You know exactly what's in it. And today's recipe is perfect for that. It's quick, it's easy, and it's tasty. And if you're wanting some more information on potatoes and the best way to cook them, then check out my blog at JanetsDeliciousLowCarbKitchen.com. In a couple days, the next couple days, I'm going to be posting a blog on potatoes and what potato is really the best one for you and how to cook it to make it the lowest carb and the lowest glycemic index because how you cook it can either raise or reduce the glycemic index. That being said, let's get cooking. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Then line a large baking sheet with foil. Spray the foil with cooking spray. In a small bowl or spice shaker, combine one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon paprika, a half teaspoon seasoned pepper, and one teaspoon seasoned salt. If you want, you can change the seasonings and add more or less, whatever you want. It's going to be to whatever your desired taste is, whatever flavor you want your chips to be. Shake the container or whisk the ingredients all together until all of the seasonings are fully combined. Thinly slice one medium sweet potato Place the sweet potato in a single layer onto the prepared baking sheet. Do not stack the slices. If you need another baking sheet, you can use another baking sheet, but do not stack the slices. They will not cook right. Brush the tops of the potatoes with one tablespoon of olive oil or oil of your choice. Sprinkle the potatoes with half or the desired amount of the seasoning mixture. Turn the potatoes over and brush them with another tablespoon of olive oil or the oil of your choice. Sprinkle the remaining seasoning mixture over the potatoes. Bake for 30 minutes. Stir the potatoes and bake for 20 to 30 minutes more or until lightly crisp. Watch them carefully because they can burn easily. Let them cool in the pan for at least three minutes. You can eat them immediately while they're warm or you can cool them completely and eat them when they're cool. If you have any leftovers, then store the leftovers in an airtight container in the refrigerator. Eat and enjoy. And that's our recipe of the day. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you'd like to. Let me know if there's any other recipes that you'd like to learn how to make without the use of white flour and white sugar. Also, don't forget to hit that little notification bell. That way you can be notified every time I put out a new video on recipes and tips and tricks on how to make your low-carb living easier. And as always, keep cooking.